What is up guys, Jay and Nicola here and we're back with another uh, RPG tutorial so let's see if everything's still working correctly it is because uh, I just updated the project uh, to Unity 5.0 and yeah just wanted to check if the script works and this is proof that it works okay but anyways what I'm gonna do is drag the player from up here down and the assets this will create a player prefab and basically the camera should be in here yep it is and what I'm gonna do now is go create a new scene and do as I always do with the platform delete the main camera here okay so 3d object because yeah unity 5.0 basically personal edition in the Consumer edition have all of the and the like pro edition have most of the same features. Okay, so now if I just place him here, yeah, this is a bit better for testing because it already has the shadows in it and stuff like that. We don't have to configure all of that ourselves. Okay, so, anyways, uh. What we're gonna be doing today is working on the whatever it's on the player attributes or the stat system, whatever you wanna call it. Now this is gonna be also another multi-part part tutorial or episode like the last one was. Because we need to go through creating the stats themselves and then we need to create the GUI for the stamina and mana and then the GUI for the attribute system itself like leveling up gives you attributes and stuff like that the player stats screen is what I'm trying to say so add component I'm gonna call it player stats okay so add component I'm gonna call it script player stats and sorry about that cut there okay create an add So now if we open up our uh, player stats script <coughs> we can get working to it. So uh, the attributes I decided to put in are health, stamina, mana, damage, magic damage, defense, stamina region and mana region. So those are the ones we're going to go with. <coughs> Okay, so first, uh, let's make all of the variables. So, public static var. And I'm actually gonna copy this over. And let's see, one, two, three, four. And paste it seven more times. Because <clears throat> it gets annoying if you have to like type it each time. So first, wow, sorry about that. First one is max health. Of type integer, and is equal to one hundred. Okay, second one is max stamina. Also of type integer, and is also equal to one hundred. Third one max mana. Guess what? It's also an integer and is also 100. I mean, you can set the max stuff if you want to any other number. I just like having it like this. Okay, third one is the damage. Now, uh, the way I'm gonna do the damage later on in this series is actually, it's this is gonna be the. Uh, like kind of basic damage you do like I'm gonna put 35 so 35 hit points is gonna be our basic damage but the way I'm gonna uh, code it is so it can be either 5 more damage or 5 less than what it is in your attribute system or something in between so it's kinda like random it isn't always the same damage hopefully you understand same goes for the magic damage but the difference there might be in like 3 or maybe even higher so the next one is magic damage 
this is also an integer and is equal to 20 so yeah, basically if you're in your attribute system if your damage is let's say 45 you can do anywhere between 40 and 50 damage or in this case 35 anywhere between 30 and, and 40 okay so now defense it's gonna be a long time before we actually use defense but let's just get it out of the way now stamina region uh, yeah pretty much everything's an integer here and let's have 20 stamina per second the basic region mana region also type integer let's have mana region a bit slower about 10 okay so we do have our max stamina max health and max mana but we don't want to be messing with those like for regular stuff so we are actually want uh, regular variables I mean not regular variables we want also variables that are like health stamina and mana which is the one that will will be changing okay so let's get wow sorry about that again I don't know why I keep on doing that okay so first off variable health wow health of type integer variable stamina of type, type float actually is what we want for stamina and for mana also float okay so now go in your function start and we want the health when we start your game to be equal to max health later on when we get to the save game functions we're gonna change what our health is gonna be when we start off stamina just for testing let's put it to zero and by the way later on we will be changing all of these uh, 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 three of these variables also to public static just here for testing sake I'm gonna put it like this before we add a GUI for it mana is equal to zero when you start off okay so now we go into our function update uh, here we basically want to handle our stamina and mana region so that's the first attributes we're gonna cross out the list here okay so if stamina is a lesser than max stamina then what we want to happen is <coughs> stamina plus equals stamina region times time dot delta time so it's actually real time based and not like frame rate based okay then if stamina is greater than max stamina then we want stamina to be equal to max stamina just like so okay then do the same for the mana if mana is lesser than max mana then mana plus equals mana regen <coughs> times time dot delta time and finally <coughs> if mana is greater than max mana then mana is equal max mana okay so this is pretty much it for uh, what we're gonna be dealing with today let's just test that everything works correctly uh, uh, okay 
it's like your player you're gonna have like the stamina mana and health here and if we play the game we'll actually we should see this raise yeah you can see it's regening slowly and it takes the stamina uh, more time to regen because yeah it's on uh, uh, this, this number is smaller so basically yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna be dealing with today so just checking if I have anything else planned nope that's pretty much it so next tweet next actually the, I don't know if next uh, game tutorial is gonna be next week but in the next uh, RPG tutorial we're gonna be making the GUI for the health stamina and mana so yeah that's also another short one but show some useful tricks for easier like health bar and stamina bar making <clears throat> so anyways until then I'll see you guys bye